And a very good day to you and welcome to the program. I want to ask you a question this morning. Who are you serving? Are you serving man or are you serving God? Because if you are serving man, you're going to be like a proverbial roller coaster. One minute you'll be up and the next minute you'll be down. Why? Because you cannot please people all the time. Let's just go straight to the book of Acts, Acts chapter 14, and I'm reading verse 18 and verse 19. And with these sayings, they could scarcely restrain the multitudes from sacrificing to them. Now, I'll just stop there for a minute. You see, Barnabas and Paul prayed for that man that was crippled. When he was healed miraculously by Jesus, okay, the crowd wanted to worship Paul and Barnabas. They wanted to make them into gods. They even gave them names. The name of, uh, of Paul, they were going to call him. They said he must be, uh, Paul must be Hermes because he was the chief speaker. And um, they called uh, um, Barnabas Zeus. And so all of a sudden they brought oxen. They were going to make a sacrifice and they were going to start to worship Paul and Barnabas. The very next verse, verse 19, listen to this. Then the Jews from Antioch and Iconium came there, and having persuaded the multitudes, they stoned Paul and dragged him out of the city, supposing him to be dead. Can you believe that in two verses? Verse 18, they are wanting to worship him, both of them but especially Paul, because he was a speaker, the next verse, not the next chapter, they took him out and they stoned him and they left him for dead. Now, folks, stoning was a, was a death sentence. And if they left him for dead, he must have been unconscious. He must have been bleeding. He must have had broken bones because they didn't throw little stones. They threw rocks at them. But Paul was such a man of God. The next day he was up and he was preaching again. I want to talk to you about the fickleness, that word fickle, the how people can just change in an instant. One minute you are the greatest, the next minute you are worse than uh, the devil himself. And of course, our best example is the, is the master, our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, I go to Israel a lot. I know that road that goes down from the Mount of Olives down through the Kidron Valley, up the other side, into the old city of Jerusalem. And when he was coming down that hillside, the people were worshipping him, right? And they were taking palm branches and leaves and throwing them on the road so that the donkey could walk across them. They even took their own garments and they put their own garments on the road so that the donkey and the Lord could be escorted into Jerusalem. And a couple of days later, that same crowd, because in those days there wasn't big crowds, the same crowd were shouting out, crucify him. The very one that they were saying, Hosanna to God in the highest. I want to say to you today, you need to put your, your effort and you need to put your trust in God. You go to a major rugby match, you'll see a man who's going to be the man of the match. He's had that, an exceptional game right at the last minute before the final whistle blows and the match is over. He gets a penalty. He's supposed to kick it through the post and he misses it. From being a hero, he becomes a villain. And it's not even a joke. We need to put our trust in Jesus. God bless you and goodbye.